From Beijing, Charles Pelgrin has more. The U.S. had long opposed China's claims in the South China Sea, but this is uh, significantly harsher in tone, uh, this statement by Mike Pompeo, the American Secretary of State, uh, explaining that there was no coherent legal basis to Chinese claims in the South China Sea, and also explaining that uh, uh, Beijing has been using uh, intimidation tactics to get what it wants. Uh, one particular uh, quote uh, stands out, saying this, the world would not allow Beijing to treat the South China Sea as its maritime uh, emp empire. So uh, before the U.S. Uh, policy in the region had been much more ambiguous, uh, leaving much more room for, for maneuver, basically uh, asking all sides involved uh, in this dispute, whether, whether it's Vietnam, uh, Brunei, uh, Malaysia, Taiwan, or the Philippines, uh, to resolve this dispute with diplomatic means. And especially there was no uh, legal argument being made. So this is the real uh, difference that we're seeing this time around. And this is eliciting very strong reactions from the Chinese side, uh, starting with the uh, Chinese embassy in Washington, D.C., saying uh, that the statement was completely uh, unjustified and uh, basically saying that uh, the U.S. is using this pretext of, of uh, saying it wants to work for regional stability and security. But really, this is about, according to China, this is about the U.S. flexing its muscles in the region. Uh, other state media outlets in China this uh, uh, Tuesday uh, basically making the argument that this is also a diversionary tactic to draw attention away from the, U the U.S.'s uh, management of the COVID-19 pandemic uh, in its own territory. Now, the economic, economic 